Hey guys, if you have been working with square roots and squaring them, you've probably learned that they cancel each other out. But then what happens when you have a number out front here that is also being squared? How do we figure that out? Well, that's what we're going to show. I'm going to show you two different ways you can think of this problem here. So first of all, when I think of things being squared, that means they're being multiplied by themselves. So I could rewrite this as 5 square roots of 10 times 5 square roots of 10. That's really what this means, right? Now, when you see this and we're multiplying, you might be tempted to do our rainbows, right? Our foiling or whatever you might call it. But we're not going to do that. When I do that is when I have a plus sign here or a minus sign here, that that is what's separating them. These are being multiplied, so I'm not going to do the foiling. What I am going to do is 5 times 5 gives me 25. And the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 ends up just being 10. So 25 times 10. If you're like, why does that end up just being 10? <laughs> I'll link a video for it in the corner. And then 25 times 10 gives me 250. So 5 square roots of 10 squared gives me 250. Now there's another way we can think of it that we're going to look at over here. You can also think of it as the squared basically getting distributed to both of these. So then I end up with 4 squared times the square root of 6 squared. So 4 squared is 4 times 4, which gives me 16, times the square root of 6 squared, which is when the square root and the squared cancel each other out. And it ends up just being 6. So then I have 16 times 6, which gives me 96. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Thanks.